Okay, we're putting in our final insulated clip for the fuel evap line. So I take my insulated clip and I'm now moving toward the top of the vehicle again as it's twisted, as it's rotated. I put my insulated clip over with the flush side again facing the tube and I squeeze it together as usual. See my mark right here? And I'm going to install it right there. Take my tech screw, place it through the hole, put it up. Have my drill again with the clutch on 11. Holding it in place. clutch to 14 and I hold the clip in place where I want it bring it all the way down till it's tight move the clutch back to 11 and as a last step what I want to do is I want to make sure that there's enough slack in the fuel evap line so that it doesn't rub against the corner back toward the rear of the vehicle and then once I know it's there I hold the fuel evap line and the clip in place and I put in the final amount then when I come out, what we're going to do is we're going to bend this clip down so that it is flush in between these walls. So when we place the floor down, it's going to come down like this and it needs to make sure that it's not going to hit this clip. So we've bent it down so it's out of the way of the floor being placed down. End of process.